So there's two points. The first point is, I believe that we should live in a world where children are not raped and or murdered uh, in mass and where it's covered up by the powers that be, by the cult state. That is the problem. These people are... By the way, that's definitely going on. I don't know if the people you say are involved, but I know for a fact that is, that is, that is coming out, and, and Trump's exposing that. Well, he is exposing that, and that's, that's why I came forward, because I have firsthand knowledge of these people. I know what they're into. Mind you, there have been no lawsuits, no defamation suits towards me. These are explosive allegations I'm making, okay? Like, I don't take them lightly at all. And to be honest, like, I mulled it over because there's the whole thing of, like, don't uh, judge others, uh, you know, at least you judge yourself or, you know. Don't throw stones. But, you know, when we're talking about kids who can't even advocate for themselves, like someone has to step up to the plate. And it's not been a it's been very rewarding. Like so many whistleblowers are coming to me with amazing information. It's explosive stuff. globalists are trying to brainwash humanity, turn off our life force, turn off our survival instinct. Hollywood is their main weapon. And we're joined by Isaac Cappy, who's a pretty big movie star. He's been in a lot of big films, big supporting roles, a lot of starring roles. I'm not going to go over all the films he's been in. But he's coming out in this whole plethora of, of, of sex stuff happening and pedophile news and, 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 and James Gunn you know, worshiping pedophilia. He's a pedophile booster. And 400,000 signatures or whatever, you know, saying rehire him. And he's saying they've tried to induct me into this. So we appreciate him joining us. Isaac Cappy uh, is coming on. Obviously, he's a firebrand right now. I'm a firebrand. Uh, I don't really want to get into names here. He can do whatever he wants. We're, we're live on air. All I'm saying is, is that this is the glue, the satanic glue in my experience that holds together the evil. So, uh, Isaac Cappy, thanks for coming on with us. Uh, just up front, why are you going public? And, and for people to actually hear unfiltered what you're saying, because mainstream media is all about not letting people hear what you actually say, where's the best place for people to actually hear what you're saying unfiltered? Because uh, we're going to obviously filter it here today because we're on hundreds of TV and radio stations. We don't want to sure, put sure, them sure. in harm's way. Um, uh, so uh, I've been doing a lot of Periscope streams. Uh, I'm sure someone could send the link. And also my Twitter. I've been very active on the Twitter. And I would like to dispel a few things you said. I, I'm not a big movie star. Uh, that's I, I've been in a lot of movies, but I'm not a big movie star. Also, I really would like to get in front of this. I never threatened Paris, and in fact, I reached out to her yesterday. We texted back and forth, and I said, look, I know you're a good person. I don't want to bring you into this. They are trying to draw you in, because uh, that's what sociopaths do. They use other people around them. They don't care who they hurt. They just bring them in, and uh, I will say there is a lot more to that story. Um, I... It's not relevant, though, and uh, it's not relevant to the conversation. Sure, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's this a classic a, tactic. Uh, it's hey. a distractionary tactic to like change the subject. But I mean, I don't really follow yeah. Hollywood, and I know who you were, so I'm just saying you're a, you're an established okay, actor. Sure, 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 sure. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, this. I have a singular mission. Uh, when when the James Gunn stuff came up, like I've been watching these people talk and talk and talk. They are liars, and the root of it is that they're pedophiles. James Gunn is a pedophile, and I know because his friends are pedophiles. Seth Green is a pedophile. He told me he was a pedophile, okay? Like, and I'm tired of the cult state ripping apart our country and brainwashing people. It's driving me nuts. People are literally getting attacked in the streets for their political views, and that is not what the democracy is about. And uh, I'm just tired of the bullying and the gaslighting by the media because they, uh, they are known... We're covering up these crimes. They covered up for Jimmy Savile in England. Uh, that guy, Mark Thompson, is now the CEO of the New York Times Corporation. And I'm just, I'm sick and tired of it. And that's why I called them out. I was like, look, this is the root of all of it. Let's just address the facts, you know? Well, we've got like most half the Cardinals being busted right now. It's just, it's everywhere. Uh, without getting it's into worldwide. The, without getting in the name worldwide. specifically. You saw this gun thing. It triggered you to go public. To tell us what some of these people, the name you mentioned, that is a big, quote, Aleister Crowley star, all these occultic terms. You know, God, what they mean, a star is a God, the whole Roman calendar. 
that shows their whole occultic system. But but describe the way you call it this big anti-human occultic system. And just without getting into names, what people said to you trying to induct you into this, according to what you say. Sure. Um, it was kind of a roundabout thing. I got a link to an article. I clicked on the article, and there was actually uh, the first comment was from the Illuminati Facebook, which I thought was kind of hokey at first. And then I, uh, I looked at the comment, and then I went to their page and looked at other comments. I was like, these seemed very, very tailored specifically towards me. And the one that stuck out the most was uh, something to the like of, uh, join us, we'll give you $250,000 a year in any car you want, um, live anywhere in the world. And then the next day at a party, this, this other guy's like, so he starts talking about cars. He's like, so what kind of car do you drive? I love the Teslas. The Teslas are great. Um, uh, what do you drive? I was like, I said, I drive a Ferrari, just being cheeky. And uh, he was like, no, you drive a Hyundai Elantra, which is my actual car. So I was like, okay, this guy knows what car I drive. He, uh, there was the reference earlier, like, it's, this is, there's no way this is a coincidence. And then he also said, uh, you know, I like to spend entire weekends without my phone. You know, like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I was like, oh, he wants to go have a convo without our phones because he's aware that the NSA is recording everything. So, you know, these aren't. These are people that know how to cover their tracks quite well. Um, they know what they're doing. Well, most things are run by the whole foundation, leftist arm of the CIA. And, of course, about two years ago, uh, Chris Carter said what side he was on. He said, Alex Jones isn't a racist. He's a patriot. Trump's a patriot. But then everybody else lined up against me. So, so I know all this goes on. And I, and I saw your text, your comments. So you're saying... They had heads-up data of your own personal stuff, clearly from the NSA. They were using that to no. manipulate you. And imagine a no, girl they, they, no, when no, you no. have that type of personal stuff Alex, on a girl. Alex, 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 they didn't have my data from NSA. You know, they, they, they figured it out some other way. You know, uh, when you're rich and powerful, you can hire operatives to follow people around, which I also experienced. And what I'm telling so, you is Hollywood and all that is plugged into that. I, I'm an expert yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All right. We'll 100%. continue, though. So, so. so when did it get to the point, like Mark Dice, they didn't ask him to have sex with kids, but they said, we want you to join Lucifer, you know, we, we, before we give you this TV well, show. Well, I, would... I was at a party, and then uh, this, this child showed up with a man and a woman, and he was asking for Seth Green, who was out of the country at, at the time. And that's when I was like, oh, man, they want some blackmail on me. They want they want to they pin me down and get me involved in this. Uh, and I have no, no desire to get into anything like that, so. Well, yeah, I never saw anything illegal, but I, I was at some big parties, and I'm like, why are 15-year-old girls at this party with weirdo, creepy lawyers and, like, you know, go, oh, I get a martini, yeah. I'm 15 years old. And I'm like, I'm out of here. Yeah, I understand that. I have also been at gatherings where there have been 15-year-olds and it's been fine, and no one's drinking, and it's just we're you know just hanging out and playing board games. Sure, I'm so not saying not, I'm not saying you're not at the beach with your family, and the 15 year old sneaks a beer. That doesn't always mean there's pedophilia. I'm just saying you're at a Hollywood party, and you know you got scantily clad girls that don't look like they're 18. You know, it, it's it's weird. Uh, yeah, it is. It, it is weird. So, I mean, how often did you see stuff like that? Uh, like children showing up to parties. Yeah. Um. Well, look, I, I have had friends who have been young actresses, uh, young actors. We actually had a game night that we did every Friday. Uh, it was the most benign thing, you know. Uh, no one even drank, and it was like a really good community, and everyone felt good about it. Uh, no, that's so, all great and fun. I, I, we're going to go to break and come back. What is the heart of the matter? Because you named some names, but when I come back, sure. I, mean, I just want to, without getting into names, how they, what they said to you, why you think this is going on. And we know it's going on. I just know about the names of the people you're saying. Like, why would they take you? You call yourself an obscure actor. I mean, you're a successful actor. Why were they trying to recruit you? Uh, well, oh, well, this is, this is why. So Claire and I, uh, we were friends. And when the Pizzagate thing was breaking, I was reading all the Podesta emails. And I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. And I brought it up with Claire, and I was sharing with her. And she was like, oh, that's uh, interesting. And then... Uh, I was at Seth's, like, you know, we, we were talking for well, a while. stay there then. We're going to come back and understand this right now. Okay, Isaac Cappy is a actor in Hollywood, been in some big films. We have riding shotgun with us, one of our TV station managers, and, of course, the manager of Trump, God Emperor, reaches hundreds of millions of people, Tom Pappert.
And listen, this whole Cappy thing, I started getting text messages and emails last weekend. That's last Friday, actually. Flooding me. Got to have him on. Here he is. You know, the evidence of the whole thing. And I'm like, the evidence is that all these Vatican people and the Pope and all these uh, comedians, everybody, and Nambla and the Democrats wanting to sexualize kids and Calvin Klein and just all of it. I mean, my God, you got Viacom documents, how they want to sexualize kids. So then I'm sitting here, and, and Cappy, you may be the best guy in the world. You may be the worst guy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know these Hollywood people you're talking about. I could burrow into them. I know you can't swing a stick in Hollywood and not hit some type of predator, uh, you know, who's into soul-sucking. I think Hollywood's really about vampirism and soul-sucking, dream-catching, dream-killing. But bottom line, without getting into all the names, what's the data dump? If you had five minutes on national TV, which this is, millions are tuned in right now, millions will watch later, what is the data dump of your experience, what you saw, what they sure, said? Sure. You, were, you, were, you were going to break, people just joined us. So, 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 so go back to that. You were talking about Pizzagate to this girl you know, this other Hollywood actress. And then all of a sudden she goes, oh, and then what happens next? All right, here's the data dump, okay? Let's just be really concise about it. Seth Green, uh, at his house, uh, after a party, we were all kind of drinking, pulled back a secret bookshelf and said to me, this is where we keep the children, all right? Uh, there, the, top, the top floor in that Malibu house was covered in stuffed animals. Uh, there was a, a room with a bunch of bunk beds, okay? Uh, at dinner, uh, mind you, after that experience, I tried to block it out and just laugh it off uh, because it's hard, you know, because you trust these people. Uh, you want, you love, I love them. I love them so much. I, I love them. And then, you know, a month later, uh, Seth tells me at the dinner table, we need to have a talk about chicken. And in, in case you're not aware, chicken is a uh, pedophile code word for very young child. He he told me he's into kids. So, like, I don't know what more data people want. We have, like, the, tons of uh, cult state uh, uh, imagery that was on their Instagram, which have since gone private. We have, he told me he was a pedophile. There's a secret room. There's, like, stuffed animals everywhere. But wait, he uh, told you he was boy, into chicken. And I'm not going to show the images, but I was sent this by people that have been connected to the stuff in D.C. And, 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 and we've given it to law enforcement. But the whole point is, is that their biggest thing is throwing it in people's face, making it public. They believe that gives them, like, this lesser magic power. They believe they're stealing energy from the children. It's not just about the sex. I don't know about Seth Green and all these other little globalist people, other anti-Trump and a lot of other things, but I don't know about what you're saying. But how is him saying chicken, how, how is that How is that kids? Because I understand maybe they thought you were into Pizzagate. They thought you were funny. They knew you. They were teasing you. Uh, or maybe you know, it was this, Sasha Baron uh, Cohen. Alex, have, hold on. Alex, Sasha Baron Cohen might have been videoing as a joke. I mean, I mean, how do you know? What I'm saying is when did, when did he actually say something? He said it at that conversation. We're already eating dinner, okay? So ask yourself, why would someone say we need to have a conversation about chicken? I don't know how someone saying chicken is 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 that. Go ahead. Okay. So he's while we are already eating dinner, he says we need to have a conversation about chicken. And I say, uh, well, to be quite honest, when that hit me, I was like, this, this wave of dread because like I had you know my I was like they might be into this stuff they might be into this stuff um, he confirmed that they are into children I asked him if they were into sacrifices and uh, stuff like that he said they weren't but you know he was already you know lying about other stuff so who knows um, so this so isn't a fun. robot chicken trolling operation for Sasha Baron Cohen right now this is not a trolling operation there are so many rumors about what's going on I've been accused of working with Spielberg, with Hanks, with Seth. Like, uh, I and a lot of the rumors are just like benign and just part of like the whole telephone game experience. Like someone said, I wrote Thor. I did not write Thor. I was in Thor for a day and it was fun. And no, I know. Cool. National News said I beat up a transsexual child. Thousands of art won't say where or when. I, I believe me, I've been experiencing it. Uh, I, I'm yeah, I, I'm well aware. Uh, I, I know the struggle, my friends. <laughs> I know the struggle. Tom, you got any points here? Because look, look, I'm not judging Isaac Cappy. He's just, I have to, like, try to research this. Right. I guess here's my big question. Um, obviously, 
if you don't go along with these people, what you're saying is you kind of get blacklisted. So my question is, were you still getting jobs by not being friends with the names you've mentioned? Or, I mean, is this essentially a... Yeah, this just moment? happened. This is a James Gunn thing happened two weeks right, ago. Right. Exactly. Have you been blacklisted? What what pressure have oh, you yeah, gotten? I, I, to, to be honest, my uh, my work fell off ever since... Uh, Ever since Pizzagate and uh, when I was, like, looking into this stuff, I I don't think I worked at all last year. I haven't worked this year. So, uh, look, I don't even care about acting in movies anymore. Um, every script I got, you know, I had a couple of auditions here and there for little stuff. And I'm like, uh, I'm just not into this stuff uh, at all. Well, sure. So what I about the care. soul sucking? But, Do you feel the soul sucking when you're there? Yeah, but the overarching point that I'm trying to make, uh, there's two points. The first point is, I believe that we should live in a world where children are not raped and or murdered uh, in mass and where it's covered up by the powers that be, by the cult state. That is the problem. These people are... By the way, that's definitely going on. I don't know if the people you say are involved, but I know for a fact that is, that is, that is coming out, and, and Trump's exposing that. Well, he is exposing that, and that's that's why I came forward, because I have firsthand knowledge of these people. I know what they're into. Mind you, there have been no lawsuits, no defamation suits towards me. These are explosive allegations I'm making, okay? Like, I don't take them lightly at all. And to be honest, like, I mulled it over because there's the whole thing of, like, don't uh, judge others, uh, you know, at least you judge yourself or, you know. Don't throw stones. But, you know, when we're talking about kids who can't even advocate for themselves, like someone has to step up to the plate. And it's not been a it's been very rewarding. Like so many whistleblowers are coming to me with amazing information. It's explosive stuff like they know, you know, they know what's going on. I've I've had people that have actually seen the uh, the blackmail material for a lot of really big people that you know their names uh, worldwide. Um, well, let's take Mueller. Of- it's mainstream federal documents that he, for a decade, let Epstein kidnap kids, all of it, and run them around on airplanes everywhere and have sex with them with other world leaders to blackmail them. And, yeah, and I guess in was- Mueller's world, because he, reportedly he never had sex with the kids, like, well, it's we're doing it to get control. You don't let people abuse kids. So... I know that stuff goes on. I know that's coming out, and it's just mind-blowing that we've gotten to this point. But you're saying you saw the James Gunn thing, and that was just too much for you. Yeah, and, you know, they hide behind – this is one thing I would like to address. They hide behind the – it's just jokes. It's just jokes, okay? Well, uh, it's not jokes. It's a way – it's a release valve for them because they can't just talk about this stuff, you know, openly – uh, they're trying to normalize it, obviously. Sure, they're they openly can't. getting us conditioned, is what you're saying. That's what NAMBLE, yeah. they're just normalizing it. Yeah, and like uh, addressing the Epstein thing, like, you know, that was a giant honeypot uh, operation, and that's one of the things I've been stressing to the people that have been watching me. And by the way, a lot of people that have been watching me on my Periscope streams, they're new to this. They kind of had maybe an idea that something was wrong, but I want to let them know, like, look, the way the world has worked is through blackmail, okay? It's a cult state. They get the blackmail. They own you. It's worldwide. They want to own their assets. Well, that's certainly true. Isaac Cap, he's our guest riding a shotgun. Tom Pappard, one of our local TV station managers and the other heads up, God Emperor Trump. You just saw a short excerpt of the full interview we did with this notable awakened human. If you want to see the full, unedited interview, go to InfoWars Interviews online. We have links below, and we have links to the side to our other channels. But the full interviews are being posted to InfoWars Interviews online on YouTube and other platforms. And you can always find the full live transmission at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You know, President Trump talks about how we need to be trailblazers, how we need to be outsiders, how we need to expose the current stagnant system that's been suppressing us, wanting to make us poor so he can consolidate control and buy us up for pennies on the dollar. That really is the globalist system. And he's absolutely right. So it is an honor uh, to be persecuted by the globalist and to be lied about and to be demonized. But 
It's an honor to draw them out so we can show who they are so that you take action and you take the country back politically, culturally, spiritually, financially. Another hero is Julian Assange, who's been in solitary confinement in a closet-sized room. They converted a closet uh, with a bed and enough room for a laptop. They took that away uh, over a year ago. No communication with the outside. It's all been one hell of a time for him, and he was very bipartisan in that he exposed Republicans, he exposed Democrats, he very judiciously released information that exposed criminal activity of the NSA, criminal activity of the CIA, illegal spying on Congress, illegal spying on Trump, illegal spying on me, but they had my home number, my old cell, my new cell, and my office line, and they had Donald Trump's mar lago private apartment number that I had. Total proof of Obama spying on Trump and yours truly a decade ago. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real deal. And America's had freedom so long, people don't recognize real tyranny when it hits them right between the eyes. But everyone needs to go to Infowars.com. The article is right up there at the top of the page, red link. Petition to Trump, pardon Julian Assange. And we go over the fact that he engaged in regular journalistic activity and did a wonderful job being advised by top journalism professors around the world. And that he was very, very fair about what he did and that you need to send the message that he's a hero. Now, I know they claim he's a Russian agent with no evidence and all the rest of that garbage, even though they've released stuff on Russia and Israel as well and China. But it doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. And you wouldn't have gotten elected without drudge. You wouldn't have gotten elected without what, what you've done, obviously. You can't say it's any one person, but without any of us together, it wouldn't have happened. So we need the president to pardon Julian Assange. And you said in a speech, I don't care who got her illegal server. It's illegal. It's about what she did that's wrong. Don't change the subject. Go back to that instinct, sir. But you told Assange, release it. You said release more stuff. And he's in the crosshairs. And he needs to be pardoned if he's brought back to the United States. We need your support more than ever. They're literally trying to shut us down every day by this point. So please support us by getting the products at InfoWarsStore.com where we have super silver wound gel bullet points. This is new technology that's an advanced patent and technology that's forever changed the colloidal nano silver market. There's been extensive research on silver soul technology, which includes 20 plus safety reports, test series, as well as the first ever double blind FDA cleared human ingestion toxicity study done on any silver product. Formula is 24 parts per million. The 32 parts per million version is FDA cleared as a prescription medical device. It's one of the only OTC products with direct claims against MRSA and VRE, two of the most deadly forms of bacteria that can cause infection. So it's great for first and second degree burns, including sunburn. It's basically an armor for your wounds. This is a protective barrier that guards the wounds and helps keep them from getting infected. I'm definitely going to get some of this. Barrier of protection can last up to three days on the skin, which is great because when it happened to me, when I get these big scrapes down the back of my feet, plasters just ain't going to cover it. You don't even have, you know, bandages. Plast plasters just aren't going to do it. So this would have been great for that. It's perfect for athletes of all ages in all areas of sport. It is super silver wound gel bullet points available as an exciting new product right now at InfoWarsStore.com.